Now, the Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ohio Northern University. The best discoveries come from the unexpected. By the Toledo Clinic. Choose well, feel better. By PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. By Marsha's Homemade Buckeyes. From our kitchen to yours since 1984. By Frickers, the home for fun, food, sports, and spirits. And by Impede Intraseal, a better way to make concrete. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. It is officially week seven of the high school football season. We've got 16 games on tap for tonight's show, plus our Friday night feature with the Scott Bulldogs. But we begin with our game of the week, a battle in the NLL between Anthony Wayne and Perrysburg. Both the Generals and Jackets 3-0 in the league tonight. Anthony Wayne on the road at Perrysburg. Over 6,000 in attendance. What an atmosphere for high school football. Perrysburg's opening possession of the game. They get it down inside the five. Connor Wallenzak would get the rock and powers way into the end zone for the first points of the game. Jackets would miss the PAT though and then the Generals answer back on fourth and two from the 35. Cam Swiger back to pass looking around. He's it up to the end zone. A jump ball. Anthony Wayne's Evan Ray would fight for it. The refs would discuss this one. Finally, they rule it a touchdown. Anthony Wayne is up 7-6 at the half. In the second half, Anthony Wayne's opening drive. Swiger going deep down the field. Ray on the other end of that. He had three, catch three catches for 110 yards, two touchdowns. It's 14-6 Generals. The Jackets would get their offense going again, though. They drive all the way down inside the five. Wallen Zach, so good in the red zone. He had 211 yards on the ground. Perrysburg would get the two-point conversion, so it's back to a seven-point game. But fourth quarter, all Anthony Wayne. Swiger hands it off to Joe Caswell, and he would do the rest. To the house for the touchdown, he finished with 180 rushing yards. Generals win it 42-20. Christy Kopanis has more. Anthony Wayne knew they were going to have to go through Perrysburg to get to the NLL title, and the Generals did just that on the Jackets turf. Perrysburg scored on their opening possession, but then Anthony Wayne held the Jackets out of the end zone all the way until the final minutes of the third quarter. This a total team win, and now Anthony Wayne sits in the driver's seat for a league title. I've never been through three away games in a row. Uh, you know, last week not being able to play in our home field, and I challenged our kids, home is where you make it. And if we're going to fight for each other and our family, this is just a special moment to do it three weeks in a row on the road. I mean, 7-6 at halftime, we you know tried to convince them it could be 7-6 at the end of the game. So to watch our defense fight for our offense is great. I, I can't even explain it. just feels great. I don't know. Just that feeling when you win a game, a big game like that, and you go out, just feels great. Oh, it's big. We definitely had some game changers. Cadence Carswell with that pick six. Evan with a great catch. Line going good in the second half. Joe going off. Chase going off. Everything we need. Oh, it's big. Especially after last year, this is a big win for us. We knew it would come down between us, but you know, we gotta play the next weeks, keep staying focused, get ready for the playoffs. Anthony Wayne will finish up their regular season versus Napoleon, Northview, and Springfield. Reporting tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. 